How's it going folks? This is Jordan and I'm back with another video. So today I pretty much just wanted to talk about some of the signs that we are going to see from the Antichrist whenever he enters his reign. And we're also going to talk about uh, Elon Musk and his new Neuralink um, and how they are connected to potentially the Mark of the Beast and the Antichrist. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. So first and foremost, I want to explain here that I don't claim to know everything, right? I don't claim to be holier than thou. I don't claim to uh, have all these, you know, direct messages from God. I know as much as you do, or maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. I, I, I don't know. But all I'm doing here is trying to explain uh, what I, you know, what I perceive from the Bible and the times that are coming ahead of us and, and kind of my breakdown of those things. If I'm incorrect with anything or if you're offended or whatever, you know, please scroll, move along. Uh, I'm not here to offend anybody. I'm here to try to tell the truth and I'm here to um, explain some of these horrible events that are to come and some of the crazy wacko things we got going on and I'm going to be that guy to expose them as I've said in my previous videos. With that being said, if you enjoy the content, please stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, give me your thoughts and your opinions on this subject. And uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. So I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit of, uh, you know, what we've got going on with the Antichrist, right? I mean, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of rumors that uh, the Antichrist is here, alive today. There's, you know, a lot of people who think the Antichrist hasn't been born yet. I tend to lead towards the side that, uh, you know, the Antichrist is here. He's definitely been born and I think he's in the world. Um, and I say this because you see all the awful things going on, right? You see all of the stuff uh, that the Bible has predicted that has come true in recent times. And I think that end times, uh, specifically the tribulation, is right around the corner. Now, I don't know if that's in a year or in 20 years, but I do know it's pretty close. And I, I really do believe it's going to be in my lifetime. Now, we don't know a whole lot about the Antichrist, right? We don't have all the little details, but we do have some of the details um, the Bible gives us about uh, the Antichrist as far as, you know, how he's going to rule the world, the type of things he's going to be. He's going to be very boastful. He's going to be very blasphemous towards God. At some point, he's going to claim he is God. He's going to perform miracles um, and do many, many things that are going to fool many, even, even Christians, even the elect will get fooled. From this Antichrist. Now before I move more into the Antichrist, I want to focus on Elon Musk. Now as we know, Elon Musk is a very brilliant entrepreneur. Uh, obviously he's a billionaire. He's actually the richest person in the world in the moment. And we know he's revolutionizing the world. Now when I say that, I don't mean that in necessarily good way. I, I don't believe that it is actually good. I do think there are many good things that he has done. He's very, you know, obviously eco-friendly. He wants to do right in the world. And, and that's all good. That's all fantastic. But with those ideas, a lot of um, negatives come out of those as well. Now, I won't get into all the, you know, the Tesla's electric car situation. There's no reason to get into SpaceX right now. But what I do want to focus on is Neuralink. So for those of you who don't know, Neuralink is a neurotechnology company that develops um, implantable brain computer interfaces. This was founded in 2016 uh, and Elon Musk pretty much came out and said, hey, you know, how do we take humanity to the next level of evolution? And with some pretty decent wit and a whole team behind them, they were able to create this new receptor. So this Neuralink chip that gets implanted into the brain, the chip's purpose is to use itself as a receptor and basically replace the other dead receptors that the neurons fire to. So with this, Elon explains that it can cure blindness, it can cure Parkinson's completely, um, things like Alzheimer's will not be an issue anymore for the people that do have this chip. He has gone as far as saying people who are not able to walk will be able to walk again. This chip will do revolutionary things for humanity. And of course, there's going to be a lot of uproar in a good way. There's going to be a lot of talk about this thing and how it's going to change people's lives. But again, with good comes a lot of evil. So there's plenty of good to come out of this, but at what cost? Who's to say that if this thing turns mandatory, this is not the start of the Mark of the Beast? You're going to have many people all over the world praising this thing, praising Elon Musk, and explaining how good of a thing he's done for humanity. I mean, look at, I'll show you this clip here of Mr. Beast talking about why he's going to receive the chip. 
with I would love one, by the way. <laughs> after, after the first couple thousand go through, I want one. Yeah. You put one in? Oh, 100%. I would. Why not? The, the thing is, what's Locked interesting, in. which I... Why wouldn't you? Once you... Uh, the Nero like, actually works, and you can in symbiosis with technology and just download things to your brain, you'll be able to make so much money that it doesn't matter how much the procedural cost. Anyone will be able to afford it, essentially. Um, so I think... Like the first few, like would probably go for an absurd amount of money, right? It's like even if you had zero dollars, you could just hypothetically borrow a hundred thousand dollars, get it, because once you have infinite, you know, bandwidth to unlimited knowledge, you could make unlimited money. It doesn't video. scare you at all. No, you're it's like pretty much a robot at that point. You, though, but no? we already are. As you can see, it doesn't just stop there. It doesn't stop at just helping people with their cognitive function. It's going to replace humanity and put ourselves in a way that even strives further away from God. Now I don't want to sound crazy and sound like I have tinfoil on my head, but these things are to come. We do know how technology has advanced and we do know the rate of advancement of technology and it's insane. I mean think about 50 years ago, what technology did we have then? So think about 50 years from now. I don't believe we'll be there, I don't believe we'll be around for that, but um, you can imagine at some point, whether or not this is the mark of the beast, you can see how, no matter what, it will happen at some point. Who's to say that this eventually is not going to be uh, a more easy transition to where instead of in the head, you know, it, it technology advances and you can get it in your hand. And there's the mark of the beast right there. So you can see the concern and how dangerous this could be for us Christians. Eventually, if this thing is up and running and it's even halfway as good as what it's supposed to be, Everybody will want to want to have this thing. Everybody will want to be that next stage in humanity or evolution or whatever you want to call it. So you can see why it's a concern. You can see why it's scary. Something like this, a new system that's implemented, and especially if it's up and running in full force, you can see that, you know, eventually it, it doesn't stop there. It's, a, it's obviously going to have its own system, right, where now you're able to identify yourself. You don't need a, uh, you don't need a physical credit card. You don't need a physical um id you know it's, everything's going to be in this in your palm or in your head and it's going to be this little device that controls every movement and knows everything that you're doing you know your social credit score that's a whole other video but uh, yeah your social social credit score will be connected your your online currency the new currency system everything will be done from this microchip and if you don't receive it you'll be shunned you'll be cut off you won't be able to buy or sell Again, we know these things are coming because the Bible talks about it. Think about just how easy that is. Think about whether it's Elon Musk or somebody else. Think about someone who has the technology, right? Some, someone that implements this technology into the world. And it eventually becomes where, you know, everyone needs to have this uh, and it's mandatory. Think about how many people, even the people, the Christians that are like, oh, I'll never get that. Think about when the government in one day, just in an instant, they say, everyone has to get this or else you cannot buy sell, trade, you are done. You can't pay your rent. You can't go to the store and buy anything, obviously. You can't, um, you know, you can't do, you can't do anything. We will rely solely on this device. Imagine one day going to the store and being able to buy something in cash and saying, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to get this microchip. And then the next day, you know, the government comes out or the Antichrist makes the ruling and everyone must have this. Think about how many people in that moment that are Christians, or even people that just are not Christians, they just don't want to receive it, in that moment when they make it mandatory, kind of like the vaccine, you remember how everywhere in the world, you could go to a freaking McDonald's and they had places where, oh yeah, we'll do the vaccine for free. It's going to be the same thing, right? It's going to be, you're going to go to a clinic and they're going to be able to do, you know, five minutes in and out, microchips. It's going to be a little needle, boom, in your hand, good to go. These times are coming, folks. They are 100% coming. I know it sounds crazy. Uh, I don't want to be too far-fetched, but we do know these things are happening. And I, I promise it, this is going to happen whether or not it is from Elon Musk and whether or not it is Mark of the Beast. These things are coming. We do know that this whole new currency system is coming out, this whole digital currency. Uh, and the government's tried us on it, right? I mean, look at crypto. Look how, look how much of an impact crypto has had. Everyone's on that. Every famous person, every celebrity, every rich person has tons of money in crypto. And that's just one form. That's their first form of digital currency. But I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. That's for another video. Uh, but my point here is, you know, with this system, with Neuralink, right, it's going to revolutionize the way humans work. And with that comes other systems. I mean, they've talked about upgrades, right? They've talked about um, many things with this Neuralink that's going to be able to, again, there's, there's versions of it. But again, 
There is no stopping at any point. It's only going to evolve more and more. And if you use your brain, eventually, as I've said, I don't mean to repeat myself too many times, but it's going to get to a point where you will have to get it because everything you do will come through this microchip. Now, a lot of people would probably say, well, hey, you know, I don't see any similarities with Elon Musk and the Antichrist because Elon Musk seems like a good guy, right? He seems like a good guy. Uh, he's doing good for the world. But I will say, um, you know, the Antichrist will, will be a very sly person. The Antichrist is not going to come in you know, with freaking bull horns and uh, uh, a scythe or whatever. What's the, what's the point of the three? I can't remember. Usually, you know, it's the devil's depicted with it. But he's not going to come in and be some insane demonic tyrant immediately. It's going to be kind of like the whole Hitler situation where this guy with power and influence, he comes in, obviously he's got the wealth, got a, got a team to back him, and he's going to come in and, you know, create peace. And for those of you who know about, you know, Revelation, the first three and a half years of the tribulation is actually trying to establish peace and, and basically making it a, a just a peaceful, loving world. Now, whether or not that actually happens and they're actually able to you know, complete the peace, um, it does say that it will be at least attempted. And after those three and a half years, that's when the whole nasty reign starts and it starts to get brutal. There's going to be many Christians that are beheaded. There's going to be a lot of a lot of bad going on during those times. So like I was saying, I do think there's going to be a, a peaceful um, upbringing, right? I do think there's going to be a peaceful entrance to this, this Antichrist where he gets the reins of the world. So I don't think he has to be necessarily nice right now. I don't think the Antichrist, if he's in the world today, uh, is going to be someone that is completely bad because I can't imagine how it would work where there is someone that's completely bad and 90% of the, the population knows it's it's going to be the Antichrist. I think there's going to be a lot of people who are ignorant, right? Because the, the Bible does say that the path to heaven is narrow. So with that being said, I do think there's going to be a lot of people who are um, obviously fooled by this. The Bible says that. Um, but for the most part, I do think it's going to be, uh, he's going to, he's going to slide under the radar until he gets the full reins of the world. And something to note, uh, you know, think about the way that Elon kind of slid under the radar with you know, the whole underground tunnels in LA. Who the heck is able to do that? Who else other than Elon Musk is able to literally go under the ground in LA, one of the most famous cities in the entire world, and create these Tesla tunnels? I mean, who, who does that, man? That's like a freaking superhero or villain thing to do. And no one knew about that. No one knew that Elon Musk was actually doing this until it was already said and done. I think it's gonna be very similar, um, you know, with the Antichrist when he gets these things in, in order with the world and and uh, gets it to that position where he has full control over politics, religion, and our economic system. So one of the last things I want to say here is, you know, how will we know for sure who the Antichrist is, right? Who, how will we know and when will we know? Well, whether you believe uh, pre or post rapture, um, I personally lean towards post rapture. I think that we will all, all Christians go through the revelation and at the end, I'm sorry, the tribulation. And at the end, Jesus comes and raptures us because there's many, many verses in the Bible that point to this. Now I know that there's people that disagree and think that the rapture happens first. I'm just not one of those people. I think we'll all go through this. So uh, with that being said, either or, um, you know, we'll, the people who are on earth at the time, whether it's all of us or some of us, the people on earth at the time of the Antichrist reign, after those three and a half years, whether we know that he is the Antichrist, whether we know the Antichrist is, has reigned for the first three and a half years or not, I don't think that matters too much. When we will know is whenever those three and a half years are over and the Antichrist starts to call himself God. Um, as I mentioned, he's super blasphemous. He performs miracles. And um, yeah, I mean, that's how we're gonna know, right? We're not gonna fully know until it actually happens. Again, we might have signs, there might be a lot more other things that come to fruition, and we're gonna be uh, a lot more aware. But for the most part, I don't think we're gonna really know until it actually happens and he's in full reign. And um, yeah, so pretty scary. And until then, you know, obviously we have speculation, we'll be aware of it, we'll talk to our brothers and sisters about it. And, um, you know, all we can do is try our best, pray, and stay in God's word and hope that he reveals the answers to us. But as I just said, we won't fully know until the Antichrist has full reign and you're able to see the things that he's doing. So whether you're watching this today when I upload it or um, you're watching this when the tribulation's happening, 
you will know who the Antichrist is when he is denouncing God in front of the whole world, when he's performing miracles. Remember, the Antichrist gets a very deep, nasty wound to the head, and some say he dies, some say he's just a nasty wound, but he actually gets completely healed from it. He heals himself from it, um, or you could say the devil heals him. That's one other thing that you're going to see. So you're going to see this person in power, this demonic person that is uh, just the ruler of the world who has full control over politics, finances, religion. He, he's going to have a cult following and many, many people will be deceived. If you're watching this in these times and whether I'm around or not, remember Jesus says for the people that say, hey, look, look, there's the Messiah. Look, there is the Antichrist or, or whatever. Uh, do not look. Do not look at that false Christ. He's not saying don't be aware of it. He's not saying don't call it out. He's saying don't go over there and actually believe it because there are going to be uh, false prophets and the and little Antichrist and the major Antichrist and they're going to be performing miracles and doing all kinds of things through the works of Satan and um, yeah, that's, that's not a good place to be when you put yourself out there and start to believe that they're actually coming from uh, God. But pretty much that's it guys. I just wanted to kind of uh, talk about that for a, for a quick second here. Um, I just wanted to point out some of those similarities. You know, Elon does check a lot of those boxes, right? I mean, he's got massive influence. He's a brilliant guy. He's got the software. He's got the thing that would create that new that new world order. The, uh, you know, the mark of the beast. He has those things intact, right? He's got the, the finances behind it to push it throughout the whole world. He's got the political people on his side. Elon has a lot, a lot going for him, for the good and for the bad. So yeah, folks, for the people who have paid attention and the people who have listened to my words, even when they were confusing and I was tongue-tied, uh, thank you very much for the time, and I appreciate you guys. Lastly, I want to explain here, again, I don't claim to know everything. I don't claim that I am some holy roller. I don't claim to be some prophet, right? I mean, I am doing what I believe is right. I'm giving you my interpretations of the Bible. And my sole mission here is to spread the word of God and, um, you know, to eventually get to a point where I'm able to sustain myself financially doing this full time and, and showing you some of the stories, some of the crazy crap we got going on, um, and mostly talk about end times, re revelation, tribulation, the rapture, the things that actually matter. Um, you know, so I, I like to be aware of this. I'd like to keep you guys aware of this. And if you appreciate it, then that's all I care about. I will definitely do a follow up on this video. Again, I, I, this is kind of a kind of a rush thing here. Something I wanted to talk about for a while, but there's so much that goes into it. And I believe we're getting very close to the tribulation. We're getting very close to end times. And um, if I could do my part by sharing some of the knowledge that I have, um, that other people have shared with me, then, hey, hopefully I'm making the world a little bit of a better place. And hopefully getting some of you closer to God. So I hope that whether the tribulation starts tomorrow or in 20 years from now, I hope I'm able to see you at some point, and obviously when it's all said and done, that uh, I'm able to see you in heaven and we're able to look back at these things and, and uh, think of what a crazy ride it's been. What an absolute crazy, crazy ride it's been. So thank you again for watching, and you know, day by day, video by video, it's going to get easier. Um, for me to make these videos and to kind of express myself and express some of the knowledge that God shared with me. And um, again, hopefully I can grow and help you guys grow in Christ. And um, that's all, that's all I can really hope for. As always, I'll be back soon with another video. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations or anything to add to this video or any articles, whatever it may be, obviously go to the description below or go to the comment box below and uh, send away. Thank you again, guys. I'll see you soon. God bless.